Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a massive day because the web app is finally here for FIBA 23. We get to start our Foot 23 Ultimate Teams today by logging into the web app, opening some welcome backpacks, getting on the market, doing some SBCs. It's gonna be a madness today, but it's gonna be so much fun. And what I wanna do in today's video is just, again, kind of reiterate what to do when you get into the web app today. We're gonna talk about the market, talk about maybe FIFA points being on the web app there's a little bit of updated information related to that of course when is the web app going to drop and just what you should do when you get in to the web app today on fifa 23 so if you're excited for today which i'm sure a lot of us are hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new let's start off with the basics right when is this thing going to be dropping today of course we can sit here in f5 and refresh this page all that we want but in the previous years it has been 6 p.m. UK time is when this web app has been dropped and made available to people on this game. Um, there's a nice list here by FIFA U team on Twitter. In the last 10 years, it's crazy they have all this data. In the last 10 years, the web app has been dropped between 6 p.m. UK. You see in FIFA 21, it was slightly early. Last year, it was slightly late. So it's, again, around that 6 p.m. time frame. I know people talk about soft launch, soft release. I can tell you right now when I'm recording this, there's nothing open or released on the web app just yet. It will be today on Wednesday, sometime between like 5 p.m. UK and 7 p.m. UK, which is around the content drop time, wherever you are at time zone. It should be around content today. That's the main basis. We just don't know exactly the main time. EA Sports didn't even mention this. Again, I'm going to link this article down below. This is from the EA Help website. And this is actually our only communication from EA about like when the web app is coming, which is a little bit weird. I will say we never got an official like pitch notes article or anything telling us uh, any communication officially from EA on when the web app was going to drop except for that web page right there. So that's the when, right? It should be around 6 p.m. UK today. We talked about the soft release. Now, of course, let's talk about when you get in to this web app, right? When you're able to finally log in. I'm just going to click F5 just in case, you know, right? That's how it's going to be today. But when you get into the web app today, everybody's going to be going a million miles an hour. It's going to be a mad dash to get things done, to get things going, to open your packs, to start looking at the market, to start doing SBCs and all this sort of stuff. But let me tell you, it's not that big of a race. Whether you're getting in right away, opening your packs, or if the servers don't let you on for 30 minutes or to an hour, you're not gonna be behind. Don't feel that you have to rush and get through things super duper fast or you're else gonna be behind. You won't be, right? There's plenty of time. I mean, think about it. Us, the, the, we people that are getting on the web app today, we're way ahead of the game anyway because most people aren't even thinking about getting on FIFA until the 27th, which is like six days from now, and then the 30th, which is even over a week from now, that's when most people are going to be getting on FIFA. So for today, again, it's not a race. It's not a mad dash. You'll have time. Six days of web app, like I mentioned. So of course, though, when we get in, we're going to go straight for those packs, right? We're going to go to the store and try to open up those welcome backpacks. And again, this article talks about it a little bit, kind of like what the welcome or returning user rewards is. Again, we kind of expect to see some tradable packs in there, maybe some like, uh, I don't even know what kind of value the packs are, but usually they contain some players, they will be tradable, and hopefully they have a little bit of like 80 plus or you know some sort of like rating guarantee inside them. That would be pretty nice. So from there, we're gonna open those packs. You're gonna sell some of those cards. You're also gonna hold some of those cards, right? Um, as we were looking in yesterday's stream, a lot of people, and as we've been talking about as well, in the early game, all the hype is around the SBCs, right? And of course, I can't see the Foot 23 SBCs because they're not live, so we have to go to FIFA 22. But everything that we're going to talk about, and we'll talk about this more in terms of market, everybody's going to go ahead and start doing SBCs, whether it's advanced SBCs or the basics. That's where the first kind of place of hype, and that's really kind of all you can do um, on the web app is market and SBCs and maybe a couple objectives. Uh, starting today on the web app. So that's where all of the demand is going to be. Remember that, right? So welcome backpacks. You're ripping those. You're opening stuff. You're getting players. Now, again, just a little bit of an overview on what to keep, what to sell from that kind of stuff, because it is very specific. The main point I want to get across to you is don't be afraid to quick sell. I mean, especially if we're talking like a guy, let's say foot 23 players, let's go version, you know, gold, non rare. If you're packing somebody that's from an obscure league, obscure nation, like let's say you pack Jordan Shakiri, you know, his card's probably not going to sell for much more than discard. If he's already, already at minimum price on the market, 
just quick sell the card, right? Quick sell TFOs, quick sell contracts even, because you can't play the game for six days, you're gonna get more packs later on. I would quick sell contracts, I would quick sell managers. I would quick sell anything that is basically not of value for an SBC like one of the hybrid leagues or hybrid nations. The only stuff that you maybe want to hold on from those welcome backpacks would be a card that would be a gold card uh, that maybe you'd use in an SBC. Or of course, if you pack somebody big, if you pack maybe, you know, wow, this would be crazy. But if you pack an icon or if you pack Vinny Jr., if you pack an Mbappe today, which I was joking about in my tweet earlier is a web app trading tip, right? Pack Mbappe, sell in two weeks for 2 million coins, that'd be great if that happened to somebody today, right? Or, or any of us. But if you pack any of those big boys, you don't want to try to sell it today because even if it's a card like an Anthony or a Militao, I would not sell that because today on the market, people are going to be starting off with so few coins. These guys are going to be really, really cheap. And that's why some of the elite top tier traders and people that are trying to get as many coins as possible are doing that so that they can maybe hop on the market and catch a couple of these players when they're really cheap before they start to rise most likely later on at the end of the web app period and as we get to the 27th later on in this next week. So if you pack somebody big, definitely hold on to them. Again, we've talked about the, the little quick sell hack, right? If you pack Mbappe, uh, I don't even know what his quick sell value is, but whatever he quick sells for, you might as well quick sell the card, you get coins, and then you can recover that card later on in the next four to five to six days with those coins you've been able to use to trade and make more coins, and then buy him back at the same discard value that you quick sold him for, and then sell him for the crazy amount of coins that he's going to be going for. That's the only kind of you know thing today that we would talk about regarding a little bit of a hack, or uh, <laughs> that's something that probably a lot of people are not going to do. But of course... Just in case it does happen, there we've talked about it and we went through it. But again, don't be afraid to quick sell some cards. Don't be afraid to rip those packs open right away. Send a few things to the club if you need to. If you're not sure on its value, look it up on the market, right? There's going to be so much to learn and to see with the market today because this is a brand new market. We have never had a cross console market like we do today. Now, if you're on PC, it's going to feel the same because you've had, you're used to having a PC only market. But if you're on Xbox, if you're on PlayStation, the market's going to be completely different. It's going to be so, so competitive. And we'll go back to that here in a second. But just to kind of keep our train of thought in order, as you open your welcome backpacks and you're thinking about what do I do next, I would take a look really quickly in objectives because you know, there's going to be some really easy objectives in there. I would imagine that would be like, hey, you know, get these done really fast. I don't even know if there's anything that shows here. I'm flipping for objectives. Yeah, there's not. But, you know, get a couple starter objectives done. You might be able to get yourself a couple, um, maybe some low tier packs like for a bronze or silver or maybe two rare gold players pack. Or maybe you get yourself two, three, four hundred thousand coins. That can add up and that can be useful very, very quickly. So don't sleep on the objectives. You know, there's some starter ones of those. Go through those um, and, and get some of that stuff, especially if you don't have any welcome backpacks. Those starter objectives are what I would go to right away to get yourself a few coins off the bat before heading to the market and starting to trade and making some coins. Now, after those objectives, and of course, what a lot of people are going to do after their welcome backpacks is go over to those SBCs and start to do them. Again, these are going to be very good value. There are they're going to be a little expensive. Like let's be honest, right? If we take a look, these SBCs at the beginning of last year were like 20 to 30,000 coins to complete. Um, they show for more right now, like 65k, like that's not how much they are right now. Back at the beginning of FIFA 22, 27,000 coins to complete all of these, which at the beginning seems like a lot. When you have 10k and you're like, "Nate, you're telling me to put 20,000 coins into doing a four set of SBCs. Well, you get a rare mega pack, you get a mega pack, premium gold players pack, rare mix. They're all tradable. That's why it's most times, I would say like nine out of 10 times, it's worth the gamble to do these SBCs and to go ahead and, and kind of sweat your way through these because it's difficult to get League of Nation hybrid, hybrid leagues and hybrid nations done. Maybe what I would recommend is go and try to do one of those right away. Maybe you do hybrid league or nations, get one of the easier ones done first, if you will. Hybrid Nations last year, I guess, was stupid expensive early on. That's got to be a flipping glitch. But, you know, 22, 23,000 coins for that. Hybrid Leagues, I think, might be the easiest one out of the three. What was this one? Actually, this one's the most expensive. 40, 30, 40,000 coins. Um, I don't think it's going to require loyalty this year, which is nice because, uh, of course, loyalty is gone with the new chemistry system. So maybe you get one of these done and then you head on to the market. But take your time with these advanced SPC. You don't have to get them done right away. 
they're probably going to maintain their price. It's not like they're going to get stupid expensive over the week that the web app or the six days that the web app is out. So take your time doing those when you're on the web app today. You don't have to get all those packs open right away. You'll be able to open them throughout the first couple of days of the web app. Now, let's talk about the market because this is also where people are going to be trying to make coins today. They're going to be sweating it out. Again, as I said, it's going to be very very competitive and the number one thing that we're not sure about related to the market today is fifa points we're really not sure about fifa points because it's never been mentioned anywhere there was an updated uh question i guess you could say on the ea help website right here it says can i transfer my fifa points this was literally updated on tuesday september 20th so yesterday it says in here that you can transfer your fifa points on console or pc so there will not be able to be fifa points today your 4600 or if you bought on 22 they won't transfer over to 23 this is kind of not new information we knew that those fifa points will not be able to be attained until you log on to the console uh, or until the early access or the 10-hour trial whatever comes first for you that's when you'll be able to access those fifa points um but again it just leaves us in a really weird scenario where we don't know uh where the fifa points on the web app are going to stand today right we talked about it in this little little plus symbol here you can see it it's really really small i'll zoom in again we did this in a couple videos ago like that little plus symbol right there that means that you can add fifa points on the web app that was added in fifa 22 we expect it to be in fifa 23 but again for that to work and i've been looking in this i've been searching i go in here and i search the playstation store for fifa 23 points and as of right now, all I see are the pre-orders and Madden and FIFA 21 and 22. I don't see any FIFA 23 Ultimate Team FIFA points in the store. And that's what that link would take you to, that zoomed in link that we just looked at, that plus button. So as of right now, it looks like there may not be FIFA points on the web app today. That could change. And again, if there are going to be FIFA points on the web app, that's going to change the entire market today. And it's going to be, it's going to be, crazy and ridiculous supply like everywhere these people learn they can open fifa points they are going to go take advantage of that and it's going to be a madness so we'll kind of just take that as a situation that if it happens we'll adjust on the fly uh, but that's that would be crazy so i'm not i don't know i'm on the fence it's 50 50 i thought it was going to be possible right now it looks like it might not be possible and that would be consistent with previous years but also the web app being six days from the release, it just would maybe make sense if EA was trying to scrape a little bit of extra money out of this and kind of, you know, be able to sell some FIFA points in the hype. That would be an EA thing. That would make sense. So we'll just have to see. Again, that one is up in the air. Another thing I want to talk about is preview packs, man. And again, this would be so nice if EA were very nice enough to drop some pitch notes, but we have nothing, no communication, no official word from EA Sports about preview packs as well. There might be preview packs on the web app today. I don't remember if there were last year in FIFA 22 or not, but also last year was our first full year with the preview packs. And if there are, that could bring some more supply to your middle to high tier cards. Because think about it. If you open a preview pack and you pack somebody like Luis Diaz, who might be a 40, 30,000 coin card, you're going to try to get as, as fast as possible, get your 7.5K to buy that preview pack and then list that card up on the market because it'll be profit for you. I really think what preview packs would do to the market today, what it, br it would bring in some more supply, but especially on the higher tier cards that go for more than obviously 10,000 coins because that's kind of the threshold you need to be at to make profit on a preview pack. And if you can't add in FIFA points, then people would be buying that pack with coins, right? So I think that would make the top tier cards get a little bit cheaper and it would create a good investment opportunity for those trading and building coins on the web app today now as i said competition is going to be crazy prices are going to be all over the place it's going to be a madness right things you want to do on the web app today on the market number one again remember that everybody is going to be in the sbc sections that's where everybody's going to be at doing those advanced sbcs doing the basic sbcs those are the cards you're going to want to trade with the bronzes the silvers the golds i often look to the golds right away but don't sleep on those bronzes guys i'm telling you like right now we don't even have very many bronze cards in the database do we have any all silver cards we have like how many two pages of silver cards there is going to be gobs more silver cards that we see today because the full database of course will be live after a few hours probably after the game comes out because all those cards will be added into the game and all these websites like foot.gg, footwiz, and footbin will add that stuff in. And there will be so many other silver cards to trade with and to look up and, and check their prices on. Um, 
on Footbin and, and those websites today, watch the bronzes and the silvers. Again, focus on, and this goes for golds too, but focus on your top nine nations, focus on your top five leagues, and really focus on those guys with position changes. We were talking about it in the stream yesterday, but I really feel like some of these gold cards even that have the weird position changes that can be moved in so many different areas. Let's go to a random card here, maybe like four pages in. You know, we find like Alfonso Davies, Jack Grealish, those really not SBC fodder cards. Uh, Tadic can be moved left wing, center forward, cam, left mid. Still probably a little bit too high rated to be fodder. But, you know, even a guy like Hoiberg could go center mid or CDM. Araujo could go from center back to right back. There's going to be so many cards today that we'll have to just figure out how the market, you know, reacts to this whole new position change and a chemistry system. And that's even another thing to watch out for today on the market would be watch out for your uh, position change cards, how much those are going to be because people are going to start doing SBCs. They're going to need position change cards. Those might be on actually, actually those will be an incredible place to trade today. We'll have to see how much they're supplied, but definitely watch your position change cards. Um, you know, watch your um, chem styles. Technically, you could watch out for it, but I wouldn't mess with those because, again, this is one of the biggest tips I can give you today as well. If you think about it, and as we said, there are six days we're about to embark on today, a six day web app journey you're about to embark on. Sounds like the beginning of a novel, but. There's no gameplay. Nobody can play a game. And if there's just going to be packs being opened and supply throughout this first six days before we can get on the game and actually play, there's no gameplay demand. So I, I think there's literally zero reason to build a starter team. I know we just spent the past couple of days whipping up these teams, you know, 30, 40K, 75K cheap budget squads that include some really good players like Daniel Malin or Goncalo Guedes or Den Juma or Delufeu or Jelson Martins. I wouldn't buy any of those players because I think people are going to be buying those players and they're going to start to fill out some of their teams. But what, what was the example that we used in yesterday's video, right? It was Pepe, right? This Pepe center back card was so hyped at the beginning of the year last year. And, you know, all that hype just dies after literally like three days. He goes from 7,000 coins to 2K even before the full game is released, right? If you build a team with starter players, you are going to lose coins. And that's why I really think you guys should not be building any teams. Let those prices even out. Let them go to where they're going to go before we get to Monday or Tuesday of next week, before we can actually get on the game. Then we'll start talking about building a team, buying players once we have a few more coins and once we have that gameplay demand right around the corner. That's one of the biggest pieces of advice that I can give you guys today on this game. But there will be people that are building teams though so even though we should not be doing that there will be others that are so that could be a place you trade on the market today watch some of these starter team uh, cheap beasts right you know isak saint juste sergi dardare with his massive pace boost kim min jay would be a great card to watch osaman malasia i keep thinking about the timber card i, I see i tweeted about that right i see timber and, and teze and like everybody's uh, starter teams. So watch those types of gar cards today because they are going to fluctuate in price as some people are out there building teams, although I think it's not a very good idea to do so. And then let's talk about trading and market once again, SBC solutions right now, as I, as I looked, right? When I click on the SBC button on Footbin, Footbin's going to be a mad place today too, by the way. We talk about the servers going down, maybe on the web app, maybe them doing a soft launch, you know, to maybe just ease in that process a little bit. Footbin servers could be struggling today. Watch on Footwiz, watch Footbin, watch foot.gg, watch all those websites for maybe some server outages and also watch for squad building challenge solution trading because right away, I mean, you guys have to believe me when I tell you this, there are guys right now sitting and waiting with SBC solutions from the top 1000 players that have been released already made and prepared to be loaded into Footbin so that they can start to trade and make coins off of those solutions. So there's going to be solutions on Footbin today as soon as Footbin allows it and puts those SBCs up. Uh, people are going to be inputting those squads and that's going to begin that whole cycle of the solution trading, which is very profitable. But honestly, what you want to do today on the market is just just learn. Go through, soak it all up, look at a lot of prices, look at a lot of cards, and start to see where the cards are selling, right? Because if you notice cards that are selling, you, you're noticing demand, and those are going to be the cards that you want to trade with. As I mentioned again, bronze, silver, gold, top nine nation, top five league, 
that's a great place to, to be. And we've talked in other videos about some more specifics about that sort of stuff. And we're going to be doing it on stream as well. Now, the last thing I'll say is if you're fortunate enough somehow to either be an incredible trader to get a lot of coins today or pack somebody big or big enough that you can sell the card and have a decent amount of coins. One thing you could start to look at would be some potential investments. Just it's going to depend on specific cards on the market, though. We don't know if we're getting a team of the week today. That was other communication we would have loved to seen from EA Sports. If we get a team of the week today, be on the lookout for cheap team of the week cards. As I, I talked about in, in previous videos as well, the 83 rated Vinny Jr. Inform was like 90K in the first four to five hours on the market, even probably less than that, like three to four hours on the market last year. And Footbin didn't even start registering his price until he was 150K. That's like, you know, his price almost doubled in two days, right? And then it, of course, went up to 300,000 coins as the market got more coins. So your overpowered, good looking informs today from Team of the Week 1, if that is released, will be a great place to sink some coins in. Again, just be careful with how much you're investing because in if you're trading, and a lot of us are going to be trying to make coins today, repetition and the flips and the quick flips and that quick return of coins after you sell a card, that's going to be key, right? That's why we're talking about trading where there's demand because you could go out and put all your coins. Let's say you have like 30,000 coins and let's say that like, um, I don't even know a good example of a card that maybe is super cheap and is 30K to start the day off. Let's say, let's say Cancelo was like 30K to start the day. Of course, he's going to rise later on, but if you put all your coins to buy one Cancelo, then you're just going to sit there and then maybe he goes up to 50K in like three or four days. Yeah, you made some coins, but you would have been able to make a lot more if you're out there grinding the flips. The, the, the one, honestly, like the two to 500 coin flips are going to be the bread and butter for the next six days. Those slight margins, those small margins, that's going to be where you make your most coins. It's going to be the repetition that makes your coin total go up the most. So again, it's going to be a crazy day. I know we just talked about a lot of stuff and it seems like you're going to get worked up and try to remember all these things and get worried about, am I doing this correctly? Honestly, as long as you don't get your coin balance from something to zero, you're doing it right. You're going to have fun. You're going to open packs and it, you can't really mess it up too much. You know, just be careful. Don't take your coin balance to zero. As I said, don't build a team and have fun today, man. And just, just be aware. You can learn so many things about a brand new market by just looking around. And I'm going to be doing a lot of that today on stream. So if you want to come join us, we'll be starting my web app journey and starting all of our web app journeys together live on Twitch. That link is down below in the description. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is actually not a very happy note, but I want to mention it just really quick because is there like this much of a chance, like a 1% chance that EA might not drop the web app today could this website because ea help sometimes is fraudulent this was very thought out this is very well very well worded but is there like this much chance today that it could be fraudulent and you know ea has not given us given us any legit information in pitch notes or anything like that that the web app is not dropping today i feel like that's such a small percentage chance of a delayed web app but i wanted to mention it because it just is weird that we haven't had that much communication but this this seems pretty sincere to me this is from the ea help you know and there was even like a um what is it a community manager that even posted another article saying that the 21st was the web app day and the 22nd being the companion app day after that so i'm going to leave the link to this article down below in the description is straight from ea sports so it is legit and i do believe the web app is going to come out today but again it's still a little bit weird how they're doing things this year Maybe we'll get pitch notes today. I don't know. I'm going to say that every day until we actually get them. So, guys, that's been the video for today. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below, and, of course, subscribe if you're new. I'm excited for the web app. Let's have some fun today on FIFA. It's been Nathan for the Count, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.